Yo, what's cracking guys? It's Elijah here and today I'm going to be talking about how it was growing up in the LGBT while my family was extremely religious. My dad was a preacher and my mom was a missionary. We were all in choir. It was like pretty, it was a pretty religious family. So when I was like probably like, I don't know, maybe like in between like five and eight or something like that. Like three of my siblings pushed me into a corner and they're all like, you are gay. They wanted me to admit that I was gay. It was like a whole thing. I did not really know exactly why they wanted me to say this. I didn't even know at the time that I was even gay. And they really thought that me and one of my friends from church were like lesbian for each other or something. I don't know, like we just liked each other. We were friends um, and in the end I did admit it but only so that they would get off my back. When I was probably about like 10 years old or something like that, there was this guy that was at our church and he was gay and he killed himself. And I didn't even know he was gay before he killed himself. Um, I didn't really know the guy that well, but my dad was pretty close with him. He did like a lot of like counseling and stuff like that with him. That right there kind of tells you like he's okay with the whole situation of gay people. But like, I remember when my parents told me about it and they were like kind of phrasing it like, oh, you know, he just has problems, but um, he is going to church to fix them, that kind of like, that kind of thing. And it was really weird. Um, and so just off of seeing that and hearing about that guy and how he killed himself, I was like, oh shit, you know, in my brain, I was thinking, okay, so if you're gay, like, and you go to church, like you're just gonna wanna kill yourself or something. When I was probably like 15 or so, I had this best friend that went to the same church as me. And I remember telling her like, I, cause I had this notebook for school and I had like all these like actresses on it and like hearts around them and all this stuff. And I was telling her like, I don't know why I like these actresses. And she said, oh, you're just lesbian. And I was like, lesbian? That was the first time I ever heard the word lesbian in my entire life and I, didn't have internet or anything like that to like look it up. I had no phone um, to look up like what is a lesbian. So I didn't really identify as lesbian my entire life until I got my first girlfriend when I was 17. But when I started dating her, I brought her home all the time. I didn't like tell my parents, like I never came out or anything. I didn't tell them I was in a relationship with her. I just like brought her over and said this is my friend and like we never done anything around them. Like didn't hold hands or kiss or anything like that. But one day my mom actually like walked in on us having sex and she like had like a conversation with us the next day and she was saying, I don't want this in my house. Um, she wasn't like threatening or anything like all crazy, but she was like, she was definitely against me being with her. And it was funny because when I was with that girl, my dad always said like, I wanna marry you cause he married people. Like, you know what I mean? Like he married people. He always said that to me like while I was sitting next to her and he was like, I wanna marry you one day. I hope that I'm you know, alive for it. Cause he was literally dying. He, he seemed okay about it. It's just the weird thing is like, they never really like fully knew I was in a relationship with her. Yeah, but everybody was really okay with it other than like my parents being kind of weird about it and not like, saying what it really is but then again it was me not telling them like what is really happening with me and her well my dad did sadly die before i transitioned so i can't really talk about like being a trans guy with my dad because he wasn't here for that with my mom uh she definitely like with the whole religion thing like she definitely seemed like she was like she didn't really speak about it uh, before like seeing her in person after I started taking testosterone and like transitioned. And she seemed to be like, oh, like I don't know, like questioning. I, she didn't really know about it at all. And when I finally seen her and I told her, I was really scared because the whole religious thing, you know, like I don't want to tell her because, you know, Christians are known for like not really liking anybody in the LGBT. Like when I was growing up, like it wasn't like okay for gay people and people in the LGBT to like be Christian and all that. But now it's kind of like more open to it. I see a lot of preachers and pastors that are gay or trans. And um, just back then it was just totally different. And it's so weird because it wasn't that long ago, it was like 10 years ago. But anyways, when I told my mom, um, she was totally okay with it. And just recently when I saw her, she told me that she totally changed her mind about a lot of things. And she actually, like about being religious and stuff like that. And she actually changed her mind. Um, and she lost a few friends along the way. And 
I wonder if that's because, you know, me being trans and stuff. So my mom, like, had to, in a way, change her mind about it. And she definitely seems, like, open to it more and, like, okay about it. So that's good. But all in all, I would say, like, I did not think that my parents would be, like, okay, you know, with me being gay growing up. That's really all I wanted to tell you guys, just how it was growing up in a religious household, being in the LGBT. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Later.